Hey people, so since the last part I did some micro and cleaned things up. Uh, and I also... Hmm. Yeah, I had the realization that we might be in trouble if we keep those ivory hooked. Because, t I mean, we don't. there's no point in trading it away because we need to commit to that for 20 turns. Uh, and every 20 turns, or more often than 20 turns, we want to be able to cut our roads to do that trade exploitation glitch. So what that means is that we don't actually want to have these hooked because then, then people could demand them from us. And then we'd lose access to we'd lose our exclusive access to the Statue of Zeus. So let's not let's pillage that road once the the workers walk back. I guess we can keep our capital uh, pillaged at all times, but then we don't have the spices. Uh, cause if, yeah. If if the capital has the spices hooked, or sorry, if the spices are hooked, then the capital at least has a road to Jaipur, if not to everywhere else. Oh yeah, and then everywhere else wouldn't have the spices if we did that. Uh, if we kept the the capital unhooked, so not an option really, unless we want to lose a luxury effectively. You know what? Let's ah uh, one turn away. Oh, we we're getting two workers from here. That's fine. Uh, so we can't get any cool free stuff until uh, we have the the road to our capital hooked again, which we were nice enough to ruin for ourselves last time without having enough workers nearby. Please tell me this didn't send me in the... Okay, it sent me somewhere reasonable. You know what, as long as that's Portugal and not the Incans, I'm accepting that they're going to be my late game threat and that my the Incans will be my big mid game threat, and that's okay. Oh gosh, where is this guy going? We want one here and one... Uh, so I was thinking we could actually do one here. Because that way we can use these, this tile and this tile. And we were going to use this tile in Karachi, but Karachi has so, access to so many other uh, floodplain tiles that it doesn't really need this one. It only needed these floodplain t uh, this floodplain tile when we thought that this was going to be controlled by the Spanish. And they don't control that anymore, so we're fine. Okay, let's walk these guys back, and now we can unhook. Perfect. That's nah, kind of a pain in terms of food, but we'll deal with it. Uh, should we go eat going barracks? I don't think we can... We need to be working towards victory conditions, and I don't think... A galley would be nice to be able to see the whole map, but I don't think it would help us drive to victory. Oh, uh, we got the military place in Delhi, so we don't need that anymore. And, oh, that's concerning. I guess we want our spearmen around this area. In case the to kind of dissuade the Incans from doing anything crazy, it's not crazy. It's completely logical, actually. <laughs> Taking me out with their big stinking army, but we want it to be illogical for them. So uh, it's three, one, two. And now I guess that's just how long it's going to take. We got this guy being handy. Hmm, this is also, yeah, all of this is outside territory of those two sieves. It's kind of hard to see the boundaries of the mountains, although it's clearer here. Just the brown on brown. <laughs> not the easiest to tell apart. That's okay, though. Not especially relevant at the moment. Nice. So uh, let's take the spearman with us and go plant on that hill. Hyderabad. So we want to do any trading with the Spanish. Now is our time. Ah, they got everything.
Oh yeah, that's technically a hill. That's why I can see this far. <laughs> Okay, uh, remind me once that road is hooked, because I'll have ivory, and if I have ivory, that means I can, um, hmm, well, I actually want to go here, I think. If I have ivory, I can start the, the Statue of Zeus in Delhi. Uh, yeah, let's mine a, a mountain. That's going to be a, a long-term payoff, but <laughs> we'll do it. Okay, here we are. Oh, my God. I wish that, that guy was here and we could finish the road. Uh, we'll, we'll wait a turn, I guess. How long does that take? 16 turns? 18? Uh, uh, that's fine. This should be a fine plant as long as we go straight for a temple. Ooh, that reminds me. Statue of Zeus. Thanks for reminding me, guys. I really appreciate that about my audience. Huh. Let's cross a river, technically. Yeah, this river goes all the way up here. I like my civilization because of this big snaking river that uh, I got. Lifeblood of my entire empire, I guess. No. It's good to know that's that cheap, though. So, we go here. We're going to do the deal again. Can we get construction? Uh, let's go for Code of Law. I guess not. Is that enough for Code of Law? And your 20 gold? Sweet. And horseback riding? Yeah. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Okay. Oh, crap. That's not supposed to... That's not supposed to be a road. That's fine, though. We just lose a few worker moves, but... It's okay. Okay. And this way we we keep access to uh, ivory in our cap or luxuries across our empire. Basically, we don't have to like split our luxuries in half because we're constantly rehooking. And this road is fine if that road exists. And luckily, we finished the road first uh, on this wheat, so we didn't accidentally pillage the irrigation. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, any issues? No, we're good. Oh, we'll talk to America, I guess. Oh, they have monarchy. Oh, I have code of law over them now, so still can't get shit. Okay, I guess I'll go for construction then. Okay, hold my beer, people. We're doing a big one. So we rack up that gold per turn. Ooh, that's nice and satisfying. And, okay, we can chain an irrigation in here just by going here. Uh, yeah, we'll mine another. That's a lot of wheat. I guess I got some of that wheat, so I can't complain. <laughs> nice, this, after a long wayward journey, he has returned home. So let's get some barracks up and running, and, oh, I guess we need Calcutta. Perfect. So, Incan's construction. 
53. Ooh. Oh. Uh, I might be able to push that over the edge. Oh, we got Jaipur. Okay, that doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> okay, oh, we can just pay him up. We can pay him lump sum gold. Um, construction. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we don't have the lump sum to spare. We want to be building up this as capital that we can trade, do these kind of deals with for the more expensive techs. Uh, and also we need... Oh, we'll need it for upgrades, too, because that's our plan for militarily. But uh, we might as well use it to progress technologically, too. That's useful. Bam, and rehook. Oh, no. That's not what we want to be doing. So if we really wanted to, we could pillage again in, next to Jaipur. And get our gold back and horseback riding, actually. Oh, yeah, that just actually makes sense. Uh, so 30 gold per turn. The important part is he's giving, giving me furs. Because as long as he's giving me furs, then the deal can be cancelled. And I have to not be giving him str strategic or luxury resources. Or any 20-turn 20, 20 commitment. Oh, no, no. Any 20-turn commitments are fine, just not this one. Now, I wonder if I could use this strategy to cancel a military alliance. Or are those locked in place? I'd have to do some experimenting with that. I, I do lose my luxuries if I do this, so I have to be careful. But I can just rehook next turn. Uh, and one nice thing is I can call up the Americans. Because me and him are our buddy buddy. Call up America. Surely... With all this crap, okay, yeah. <laughs> Construction way more than pushes it over the edge. So we got monarchy. Um, I think everybody has monarchy, except maybe the Spanish. We'll try the Spanish. Ah, we could have traded it for a worker if she didn't have it, but she does. That's okay, though. So I'm still a little worried about this. Oh. Okay. Ah. <laughs> That could have been a, a horseman. That's okay. We'll do the horseman now. Okay, we can take the spearman out. Because uh, we have two warriors here, so we this one's the military police. Uh, so this one can go. This front is kind of scaring me a little. Scarier than Kolhapur? Just maybe. Just maybe. Because when he pulls out here, if he kills Spain, uh, he's going to go be going back through this land, and I, I don't like that. Uh, this oh the Russians could drop off a stack I guess. <laughs> Spanish boat going north, <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I'll put one more warrior in Kolhapur. Okay, uh, let's see what they have. Do they have all of the... Oh, he just has engineering. Okay, who else can I trade with? Russia. Uh, 
Oh, has feudalism. Let's see how far this gets me. Not even close. Uh... That's kind of close. Hmm. Okay, we'll have a look at every, what everybody has. Oh, England has nothing. Nothing. Russia. Spain's almost dead. Portugal has everything. <laughs> Mm. I mean, I know they don't value monotheism very highly, but he has a monopoly over it, so he's got to value it quite highly. Yeah. Okay, well, might as well bite the bullet and do this micro. Engineering is actually a very useful tech uh, because it gives us access to bridge building. Yeah, that's a real thing. <laughs> but you can cross over rivers without taking a movement penalty, so that's what I'm in it for. Okay. Call up... Who was it? Was it Russia? Shit. Okay, I, I apparently need to Im improve my commercial capacity uh, before they'll do that. Hmm. Okay, I'm close. Did I miss any cities? No, okay, well, I might as well get something if I can. Well, should give me gold per turn in exchange for gold per turn. No, she just doesn't have any gold per turn to spare. Uh, we could try with the Incans, too. Will you give us gold per turn? Nope. Okay, I guess we'll take the 12 gold. <laughs> no, there's not even a point. Oh, what am I saying? I need, I need any gold. I, this is Sid. You need to take the advantages when they come. Blah, 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 rehook the road. And I actually can't road that. Did I just not use the cow? Use the cow. <laughs> it's a cow. Okay, um, maybe I could plant more cities. Is that an option? Could put one here. Hmm, I have access to this tile, which means I have more culture than Yekaterinburg. Thanks to my Russian viewers for helping me pronounce that. I don't know, what do you guys think? What's another good city spot? I think this would flip. Something like this would be safe. And you know what? Yeah, safety is... Oh, I could just plant it on the, the gold. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, uh, so... Yeah, I mean, well, there's some of these other cities, we'll just grow them, and then... Yeah, okay. You know what, we should stop building workers so we can grow these cities. We have just enough workers, I feel.
Okay, uh, so Calcutta's building a settler. Where can the settler go? Mm, no, no, we, we just have the room for the one settler. We'll do one more worker in Calcutta, I guess. Bengal temple, perfect. Bombay horseman, I like that. Barracks, this can be a barracks too. Okay. <laughs> Keep on like having a panic attack thinking it's a declaration of war. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll just ch hang out with those guys, I guess. They're handy. Okay, um, yeah, we're just chilling. Great, so we're in a bit of a low state because... Not really any trades to do. I guess once more civs get engineering, they'll trade it away for less. Oh, Portugal has money. Hmm. Oh, but they have nothing to offer me. Hmm. Wait, how many spices do they have? If they have spices to spare, I could disconnect my spices. No. Yeah, I don't need that gold. Not desperately. I'll keep an eye on the Incans and the Russians. Incans. Uh, I could get military alliances if I really need them. But I suspect if I'm at war, then anyone will fuck me before. I'm able to really do anything about it. Unless it's like, the, if the Portuguese declare war on me, then that would be a situation where a military alliance would help me. Because I don't border the Portuguese, but they could still enlist people into the war if I ignored it. Otherwise, eh. Yeah, it's expected. They got the Great Library. They probably are already almost have education, so... <laughs> 11 turns. Sure. <laughs> glad you're just not asking. I'm just glad you're not asking for money, you know? Okay, let's get some horsemen. Okay. Uh, daily checkup on the Incans and the Russians. Get 25 gold from the Russians. Seven from the Incans. Uh, Portugal. I wonder if I disconnect my horse. Does anyone have horses they could provide me? Yeah, I guess that's how it'd be. Uh, pikemen, that's that's fine. Uh, the Incans definitely do have iron. Oh, they just don't have feudalism. That's actually not an improvement to that. <laughs> Of course, they've got the, the Temple of Artemis, so they're instantly getting culture everywhere. Oh, speaking of which, let's not let that culture flip. That would be quite bad. Nice, we got this road hooked. We're getting we're increasing our commercial capacity slowly. And our cities are growing. OK, 
okay we don't we can't have a road going out this way because we need just one road connecting our capital to all these uh sieves sieves that we're scamming so speaking of a scam let's see if we can cook up anything okay they have feudalism Seven eighty. Oh, okay, we're close. I love Madras. This game would be so hard if we didn't have Madras. That's too commerce anyway, so we don't need to micro that. Ooh, this is the good one. Eh, maybe Bangalore a little. Okay, so Incans. 69. Oh, we're getting up there. Can we do feudalism? Uh, we're getting up there, though. And we can do engineering. Okay, we need to solve this immediately. Like, get this gold back immediately, because otherwise they're just going to buy something from the Portuguese. So, Incans. 69 gold per turn again. That is a lot of lump sum gold, but oh, it works. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll just let that run for a turn, because otherwise it fucks us over in terms of happiness. Can we sell engineering to anyone? England. Oh, does not have engineering. Do you have money? I'll take what I can get. <laughs> yeah, like like I just showed you. Sometimes that lump sum gold is really crucial to making these trades, so it's important to to have it when you can. Oh, one nice. Actually, this is probably easier to... <laughs> yeah, it, it comes at the cost of... Oh, wow, that's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, who else has unhappiness problems? Uh, of course. Yeah, but it saves us 30 gold, so totally worth it. Nice. The scam continues. Oh, no, you don't. I see what you're trying to do there. Seven turns. Yeah, I think the Incans have to be my first target. Like, I need these three cities dead, and then things are just so much cleaner for me. Uh, he has gold and Russia is the only sieve still mm, has tech oh she's got mono now 868 oh we're getting there okay um 
Yeah. <laughs> Scam is back in business. Oh, he took she took that tile from me. Yeah, she got her library out, that's what it was. That was nice while it lasted. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. This is Sid, guys. You guys wanted me to play on Sid. This is what you have to watch. <laughs> uh, Incans, do they have mono? Oh, they do. 75, though, now. 68. Can I do feudalism actually? Oh fuck, I have to do. Oh, actually, I actually might be able to. No, not yet. We're getting there. Uh, can I do rep? Looks like it'd be about the same as mono. Five seventy, five sixty six. And bam, bam, bam. Okay. And we'll contact him. Contact him again. Oh fuck! Did I just do automate clear pollution? I did. And <laughs> uh, fifty-five. Sure. That's just gonna get pillaged again. I even worked that tile for her. I'm too nice. <laughs> this one right here. Uh, I could do one here. That wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, that's actually less likely to flip, so let's do that. It's a garbage city, but... <laughs> Yeah, it gives me unit support. It gives me gold per turn. Three, I believe, is a minimum to to this number. So, Knights Templar. Okay, now we chill a bit. Oh no, I know what we want to do. Not that. <laughs> uh, so I could plant. On, he seems to be constantly blocking. I do want to plant further away from my capital just to stop the corruption issues, though. So we'll do that. And America? Oh, England might have gold too. Oh, she has tax. Holy fucking shit. Ah, uh, but she won't. Yeah. I'll take the gold from America, I guess. Thanks, buddy. You're my one true friend, even if you blackmail me for stuff. Oh, 
Oh, nice. I can get on top of here. So that might actually give me some bonus corruption in the city center. I'm not sure. I'm a commercial civ. Maybe that's good for something. Maybe I got to get big first. Uh, I can pl oh I can plant plant forests since I have engineering now that's handy. And court uh, yeah maybe I don't know. We'll see when it comes around. Uh, oh next turn we can do that. Hmm. That's exploration for us. So that gets us... Yeah, the, oh, we are getting the extra gold. That's nice. Oh, actually, we want, want to force that. Hope this library is enough not to have a culture flip. Okay, next turn. Statue of Zeus. Oh, we can hook the extra ivor ivory, too. We probably shouldn't, uh, so they still don't beg us for it. We could if we wanted to, though. We built a wonder on Citadel. That's always nice when it happens. Sweet. Oh, uh, we need a barracks here ASAP. Great, uh, so I think that settles it for this part of the series. Again, uh, uh, winning on Sid 2. Perfect. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next part.